The all-new 2019 Subaru Forester is uncovered at the New York International Auto Show and it's getting big changes, but some fans will be disappointed. Here are the details, specs and full gallery above to see what upgrades are coming this fall when it makes its dealer launch. There are a lot of good, some bad and some ugly changes coming. The Forester gets exterior changes, but as expected, none are extreme. It gets Subaru's design language with a family resemblance with standard front, side, and rear underguards with color finish according to trim line. New LED headlights are standard on all Forester trims and complement the brand's signature hexagonal grille. It features high-gloss black or silver trim highlights and gets new colors such as Jasper Green Metallic, Horizon Blue Pearl, and Crimson Red Pearl. All Foresters will come with lower cladding to protect the SUV from rocks and mud for off-road use. The big changes come underneath as Forester grows with its wheelbase increased to 105.1 inches from 103.9 inches. This will translate to gains in rear, legroom, headroom, hip and shoulder room. Subaru says the doors have wider openings making ingress egress and installing a child seat easier. The Forester redesign also increases cargo space to 76.1 cubic feet with the 60-40 split rear seat backs lowered, a gain of 1.4 cubic feet Forester's rear gate opening width is now 51.2 inch wide, a 5.3 inch increase over the previous model and up to 8 inch wider than on some competitive SUVs. The load floor sits flatter, and the cargo area squared off shape has been further optimized for ease of carrying large objects. The fifth generation Forester gets a newly upgraded 2.5 liter boxer engine. The new power plant now comes with direct injection, higher compression, along with active valve control system AVCS, on the exhaust side. The new engine produces 182 horsepower and 176 pounds FT of torque, versus 170 horsepower and 174 pounds FT in the previous generation Forester. We reported here on Torque News Subaru would discontinue the 2.0-liter Turbo XT model. It's gone forever and Forester gets a new sport trim, but it's powered by the standard 2.5-liter engine. The new Forester Sport is an appearance package and gets specially enhanced standard equipment. Sport trim features a grille with black gloss finish frame, black finish 18-inch wheels and rear roof spoiler. It also comes with orange accents on the black underguards and roof rail mounts. Inside the Sport Forester comes with a unique dark grey material with orange stitching and accents throughout. Subaru discontinues the manual gearbox in all Forester trims. Forester Sport won't be offered with a 6-speed manual rower. The 2.5-liter Boxer will come mated to a lean Artronic CVT featuring a 7-speed manual mode with steering wheel paddle shift shifters. The Forester Sport model does come with a version of the Subaru WRX STI Intelligent Drive with Intelligent and Sport Sharp modes. Subaru axes the 6-speed manual gearbox in the interest of safety. 2019 Albanian Lex Forester models will come standard with EyeSight driver assist technology for the first time. Subaru engineers haven't been able to couple a manual transmission with EyeSight, so the 6-speed is expendable. The top touring trim debuts with a new driver focus safety technology offering another layer of safety and convenience for the driver. The system can alert the driver of fatigue or distraction while on the road as well as automatically adjust many driver settings at startup. Driver Focus uses facial recognition software to identify signs of driver fatigue or driver distraction. The new driver monitoring system works with EyeSight to reduce the chance of an accident. Driver Focus can also recognize up to five drivers and remember their presets for seat position, climate, multi-function display and more. 
The new 2019 Subaru Forester also gets a new electronic brake, new front seats, standard automatic climate control, LED headlights, auto start-stop, SI drive engine performance management, active torque vectoring, trailer stability assist and welcome lighting, and the panoramic power moonroof is standard on premium, sport, limited and touring trims. There's a lot of new features on the all-new 2019 Subaru Forest for making it much improved over the outgoing model. It also features the Subaru Global Platform offering a quieter cabin, improved driving dynamics, and additional safety. There is some bad and ugly with Subaru XT 2.0 liter turbo gone along with the 6-speed manual gearbox. When Tesla started delivering the Model 3 last year, it still hadn't completed its user interface. The automaker has been updating it through over-the-air software updates ever since and the latest update brings better controls with the steering wheel scrolling buttons. Tesla's software team has been focusing on Model 3 over the past year, which led to some delays for other expected updates, but now the vehicle's UI interface is starting to come together with the last few updates. Recent examples include controls of the heated rear seats as pictured above and now Tesla turns to user inputs. Due to its minimalistic interior, the number of ways that drivers can make inputs is fairly limited. There are the center touchscreen display and a few buttons on the steering wheel. One of the main complaints about the limited ways to interact was that drivers needed to press on the touchscreen to adjust the autopilot's traffic aware cruise control cruising speed and following distance. With the latest update, Tesla is now making better use of the steering wheel scrolling buttons in the Model 3. Both the cruising speed and following distance can be adjusted with the buttons instead of having to use the touchscreen, though it's still an option for drivers who prefer it. Tesla now also lets drivers adjust the Model 3's side mirrors and steering wheel with the steering wheel controls. Here are the release notes about the new use of the steering wheel scrolls. For your convenience, we've updated the functions of the scroll buttons on the steering wheel. The right scroll button now lets you quickly adjust traffic aware cruise control settings. To increase or decrease the set cruising speed, roll the right button up or down. To adjust the follow distance between you and the vehicle ahead, press the right button to the left or right. You can still adjust these settings from the touchscreen and press down on the button to activate voice commands. The left scroll button now lets you adjust your Model 3 side mirrors and steering wheel. Start by tapping the controls icon on the bottom left corner of the touchscreen and then tap quick controls adjustments to adjust the mirrors tap mirrors and select the left or right mirror icon. Then, scroll the left button up or down, or press it left or right. To adjust the steering wheel, tap steering wheel and scroll the left button up or down, or press it left or right. As usual, keep in mind that Tesla sends out its updates in batches and it can take a while before every car receives the update. The 2019 Forester doesn't radically shake up Subaru's SUV formula, but it doesn't have to. Now in its fifth generation, the Forester continues to offer exactly what its buyers want, lots of interior space, lots of standard safety equipment and rugged charm. Visually, it's still very much a Forester, with an upright, two-box design, and typically Subaru contemporary but offbeat styling. You know, kinda ugly, but totally charming at the same time. The 2019 Forester is built on the Japanese automaker's Subaru Global Platform architecture, resulting in an SUV that's slightly larger than before. The increased length, width and height all allow for more passenger and cargo volume. Wins all around, for sure. Every 2019 Forester will be powered by Subaru's new, direct-injected, 
2.5 liter boxer engine with 182 horsepower and 176 pound feet of torque gains of 12 horsepower and 2 pounds ft over the 2018 model this engine is mated to a continuously variable transmission across all trim levels sport and touring models get a manual mode with steering wheel mounted paddle shifters not that they'll drastically alter the behavior of the CVT or anything. All-wheel drive is standard on all Forester models, it's a Subaru, after all. Sadly, Subaru will no longer offer a turbocharged Forester XT. The Sport model is merely about appearance and a longer list of standard equipment. Sure, this Forester gets a Sport Sharp setting in the SI drive modes, but all chassis and drive the train components are the same as other Forester models. You'll be able to spot the Forester Sport by its unique grille, dark 18-inch wheels and rear roof spoiler. A step up from the Forester Premium trim, the Sport also gets LED fog lights, high beam assist, push-button start, heated seats and more. Subaru's excellent eyesight suite of driver safety tech is standard across the 2019 Forester lineup, which includes adaptive cruise control, pre-collision braking, lane keeping assist and more. New for this year, top-end Forester Touring models get Subaru's driver focus tech, which uses facial recognition software to monitor driver distraction and fatigue. Driver Focus can remember up to five different drivers, memorizing their presets for seating position, climate preferences, infotainment settings and more. Speaking of infotainment, the base Forester comes with a 6.5-inch multimedia system, while higher-end trims get 8-inch multimedia plus and multimedia navigation systems. Subaru's Starlink interface features standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, for folks who'd rather use those. That's all packaged inside an updated cabin that's designed for function first, and Subaru says its 2019 model is the roomiest and quietest Forester yet. Look for the 2019 Forester to hit Subaru dealers later this year, following its introduction at the New York Auto Show this week.